Hello everyone, the topic of this video tutorial is the installation process and simplified deployment of the QSAR Toolbox database. If you already have an older version of QSAR Toolbox installed on your computer, you can keep it, as the installation of the newer version will not be affected by the presence of previous installations of the system. The latest version of QSAR Toolbox can be downloaded from the official website, where we have navigated to the download section. Link to the official website is provided below in the description of this video. Click on the Download Latest Version button and then on the Download Installer. You should log in to start the download process. If you have forgotten your account details or do not have an account, you should use the appropriate links to recover or register an account. Make sure that all files have been extracted from the downloaded package. Activate the Start Install Executable. This action might activate the Defender software that protects your computer from malicious software. In such a case, go to More Information and select Run Anyway. Before you start the installation, please read the installation manual and also note the technical requirements necessary to install QSAR Toolbox on your computer. The three basic components of the software that must be installed are .NET 6.0, Database and QSAR Toolbox application. .NET 6.0 is the latest long-term support version of Microsoft's .NET Framework, a unified framework for developing applications for a variety of platforms, including Windows. The QSAR Toolbox application is based on the .NET Framework. Once installed on your computer, reinstallation is not required. The other mandatory installation is the database. Currently, there are two modes for deploying the database, Portable, which is simple and PostgreSQL Server, which is advanced deployment. PostgreSQL Server was the only possible deployment option for the older versions of QSAR Toolbox. This option deploys the QSAR Toolbox database on an already installed, configured, and running PostgreSQL Server. Once installed on your computer, reinstallation is not required. Using the PostgreSQL Server option requires that the user knows the PostgreSQL configuration options, for instance the port on which the server listens and the password for the Postgres user. QSAR Toolbox version 4.6 provides a new simplified way to deploy the database that does not require preliminary installed PostgreSQL Server. You must specify an empty, writable folder on the local hard drive to start the deployment process. After that click the Deploy Portable button and wait to finish. Upon completion, a message indicating successful deployment is displayed. The next step is to install the QSAR Toolbox application. Click on QSAR Toolbox version 4.6 and proceed with the installation wizard. You must accept the End User License Agreement to install the software. There are three deployment options for installing the software, standalone, desktop client only and multi-user. The standalone deployment is the most common use case that installs the server and the client of QSAR Toolbox on the same computer. The desktop client only option installs only the client on your computer which access the server on another computer. The multi-user option configures the server for access by multiple users. Select the standalone deployment and start the installation. Once installed, start the QSAR Toolbox 4.6 client on the desktop to start the program. The software offers two user interfaces to start with, a simplified user interface and a classical user interface. The simplified user interface provides a simplified view of the system and very limited features, while the classical user interface gives you the full view of the system with all workflow functionalities. You can switch between the two interfaces anytime using the respective button in the program. Now we are in the classical user interface, where one could start the work in QSAR Toolbox. For more details on how to enter your chemical and get relevant information on profiling and experimental data, as well as how to create a category and fill data gaps, watch the corresponding video tutorials. In addition to the desktop client, a web client of QSAR Toolbox has been also installed. Here you can explore the functionalities of the system as developed for the web-integrated QSAR Toolbox. For more details on working with the web client, please watch the corresponding video tutorial. Congratulations! 
Now you become familiar with the installation process of Toolbox.